The SEC is coming in hard for Terraform Labs. They've already asked for uh, disgorgement and penalties leading to $5.3 billion. Terraform's fought back and said they shouldn't pay fine more than a million dollars, with the argument being that they uh, most of the alleged incidents took place overseas. And the SEC today has fired back. So uh, we're going to go over that. We're going to go over the price action. We're going to look at a couple of projects here. Uh, so if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. And if you are part of the Luna Classic community, you have to share these types of videos on X platform. I'm going to post it on there today as well, too. Uh, if you are uh, we're going to talk about Terra Casino a little bit later on and weeks if you haven't already. If you are interested in and you're a trader and you want to use a non-KYC platform, I'm going to highly suggest using KCEX and Femex if you are looking for uh, help. If you know me from Ben Armstrong and BitBoy Crypto Show, uh, stuff like that, then you know use Femex because I'm partnered with Ben in that regard. So certainly check those out. Uh, and then uh, let's talk about what's going on in the market broadly and then of course we'll uh i found a new project uh it's not on my radar but we're gonna look at it uh real quick we're gonna go over that proposal so we got a lot to cover so let me get into it without further ado so the sec pushes back against terraform claims of fraud happening outside of the us uh with their argument i'll try to summarize here uh even if the court accepted the legal basis of terraform's argument the sec cited several examples of activity in the united states and they or, and they omitted the secret role that jump crypto trading played in restoring the UST peg in May of 2021. The SEC planned to seek $3.6 in disgorgement from Terraform and Quan and $1.7 in ill-gotten gains from defendants' uh, net sales of UST. In its filing for proposed judgment, Terraform suggested a $1 million civil penalty and no disgorgement. Also, Montenegrin courts have postponed Do Kwan's uh, extradition to South Korea because they're trying to get him into America because, you know, that's the people that pay their bills in Montenegro, if you know what I mean. So uh, I would be looking at, uh, you know, later on May 22nd of this year, uh, in about 14 days, two weeks from now, we're going to finally get uh, Terraform Labs in front of Judge Jed Rakoff. If you haven't seen the Rackoff token, you should probably go look at it. It's sitting at a $2.2 million uh, fair dollar value right now, basically market cap. So if you haven't already, you might have missed out on one very big run that it just had. I think it's up about 150% on the day. So if you uh, if you got in and you're feeling pretty good right now, then this is certainly a, gr a great time. If not, still got time. Rackoff token. Go check it out. Coin Hall, uh, Terraport.Finance. Go check them out. Uh, so let's move on. Now let's talk about the repeg proposal and how that's doing. Spoiler alert, it ain't great. So as you can see right now, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to pass. There's a lot of no's on it. And uh, you might be wondering what that looks like. Well, uh, you've got Elbun Project, Stakebin, Baywatch. These are the yeses over here. You can see that on the screen. Uh, the no's are starting to pile up. Interstellar Lounge, Jesus is Lord 1 and 2, Lunk Swap, Solid Vote. Um, you know, a lot of familiar faces in here voting no on it. Now, what is the reason? Why Why is everybody voting yes or no uh, or abstaining? You know, that, that's going to be the question. And, and I really think that, you know, this really doesn't, this is not fleshed out very well. So uh, I would I would say that this puts a lot of burden on the community at large. A great idea, by the way, but it puts a lot of burden on the community at large to satisfy a what amounts to about an $8 billion debt at this point. So um, I, I don't see that there's a path forward for this at this point. Uh, might be that it needs to be reworded. So, uh, you know, we might see something coming forward in the next couple of days. But uh, remember here, Luna Classic price, about $620 million, up 53% in trading volume. But here's the the kicker right here. Now, if you just consider that, that USTC at some point repegs to a dollar, then there's a circulating supply of $8.9 billion. Uh, so th that's a lot. That's 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 a lot. So you have you you really have a debt that you've created here. You owe people eight point nine billion dollars at the current level. So um, there has to be some kind of significant burn process. There has to be some significant sort of process to reduce overall debt in order to increase value in the USTC. Knowing full well that the market cap at this point is about one hundred and ninety six million. Now, if we could get half of the people to stake around half 
then that's a hundred million. So you you could start off a peg or or an attempt at a repeg at about a penny. You can't get two cents out of it right now. So uh, you know it, it, it's very uh, it's gonna be complicated when we get this done. And you, know, you really look at it this way: we really haven't burned too much supply here. So uh, there's that eight hundred million that we haven't accounted for. Uh, just recently. So that'll have to be reported at some point. This is verified data, but we'll have to uh, account for that at some point. Now for price action, um, as you guys know, we, we talked about this, the, uh, uh, the, the move that I think is happening here could be a move to the downside and then a breakout from above. Remember I told you that this, you know, this could be that we're kind of getting back into this little channel right here, which is a breakdown. The question would be, did we break out of any sort of range, right? Well, if you look at it, uh, the answer to that is, well, it's kind of complicated. The, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're not exactly um, sticking the dismount, if you will, on, on a lot of this. Now, there is, I'm, my, I'm a little aggressive on this, and you could say it probably broke out. Now, if you come down here and you put it uh, into a little bit of range, we're splitting hairs, by the way. We're, you know, we're kind of splitting hairs on this. Uh, to find the range that we want to be uh, that that spot, right? So if you, but if you look at it this way, and you say that you know we're 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 catching a lot of tops right there, um, then we've broken out. And what do I tell you? Normally we break out sideways. When we break out sideways, what then happens? Then we get an explosive sort of upside move. And by the way, uh, if you come back over here, uh, you can see that kind of playing out over and over and over again. Uh, we tend to break trend lines. You can see that we broke a trend line right here. And we broke it sideways. Uh, and then, and by the way, it looked like this. We had this little trend line. What do we do? We broke it sideways, and then we got a big move. Up. Well, we're doing the same thing right now. So history seems to repeat itself. But if I come back here a little bit further, then you'll see the same thing was playing out over here. So, you know, I think most people are familiar with this, but we broke sideways and then down, and then we back tested over here, and then we went sideways for a while, and then boom, we got another explosive sort of move. So, um, I would say that nothing is fundamentally changed about the way the price is moving other than, you know, if you look at this, you can kind of see that, you know, if I, if you just grant me here that that's kind of the, uh, the, the, the lay of the land, if you will, uh, right about there, then this is the longer term where it sort of looks right now with this move right here. Uh, but again, I'm still predicting 0 0.001 for the, the bull run. And I hope you're accumulating a, a lot more tokens during this period of time because there is going to be a crazy run. So um, that being said, let's look at a new token over here. We got one called Cookie Monster Meme. Uh, me Cookie Monster token on Luna Classic blockchain. Me eat Luna Classic with, uh, I can't do the word, me eat Luna Classic or, you know, whatever they say. Uh, but you can go certainly check this out. Uh, they are keeping track of the daily uh, lunk burns, et cetera, et cetera, uh, what's been burned. It, over however many days call me the yeast beast because you know they're they're having fun with the the cookie monster thing however um uh only 125 followers so go to coinhall.org if you're ever looking for price you can see the fair dollar value about 66,000 um so you know there, there's a, a big circulating supply um uh not a whole lot of volume as with many of these terra classic there's not a, a huge amount of volume so um, but let's move on to Raykoff over here. You can see this. This is what Raykoff did uh, over the last uh, little while. Now up to four, five zeros, 2368. Guys, I mean, just a couple days ago, I was sitting way down here, five zeros, one. So it's up over 150% at this point. Uh, just, a, just a really robust and very big move. I'm sorry, 126% over seven days. So uh, big moves all around. But certainly go check out um, uh, Cookie if you are interested in. And look, this is a risk-based prospect. So if you have some interest in something like this, you certainly want to go check it out and just grab yourself a little bit. It doesn't cost you that much to to to, to throw a little bit of lunk in it. Um, hold on to it for a little while. Let's see what the team can do. Can they do anything? And if they do, then you know it could be just a, a huge journey. Imagine going from a fair dollar value of sixty-six thousand to a million. You know, that's a, what, a 15X at least. So uh, good opportunity. So, but anyway, cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, contact cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund and they processed over $10 billion in the last five years. 
So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We create another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. Check my Ethereum holdings. You can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. Our main topic today is going to be uh, Terra Casino. If you haven't already, certainly go check that out. And you see, I'm still number one here. I'm not a I'm not a risk based gamer uh, of any sort. And then in my region, uh, I, I do have limited options. So you know, these I I can't participate in. But you know, I have Dragon Tiger stuff like that, Treasure Island. There's a a bunch of different ones that I do have available in my region. And if I want to, I can also do sports-based gaming, uh, the bonus war, and then we can even do crypto trading uh, over here and where you can buy long, sell short, you know. So, um, and then you have a, a bust at 58,000 if it goes down. Uh, then you have a bust at 64,900 if you're shorting and it goes down. Uh, it's a really, and, and you're wagering. You're, you're putting in your wager right here uh, where you would, um, where you put in the risk and then of course you can also do your whisk where you're doing safe risk and then you can do wild and crazy risk and it will tell you you know what that wager would look like so uh a very interesting thing that you can certainly do and then you have um you have poker um you have a lottery over here so plenty of stuff go check out terra casino and you know, maybe just maybe you find out that you're one of those vegas winners uh and then also Let's look at Terraport. So uh, you can see continuing to expand its ecosystem uh, as we go along. There's plenty of different tokens. Now you have Sun that's been added in here to trade. And then you have T the Tadpole, Tadfold, Tad. Uh, uh, and, and you've got a couple of new ones that'll that'll pop up from time to time uh, with some trading options. Uh, the liquidity, you can always check that out. Uh, you can have staking or you can have yield farming. Uh, here's the analytics for you to check it out at any point if you want to know what's going on over here. You have the vesting process over here, and then you have the governance, of course. When new proposals for the Terraport.finance exchange comes out, then you know you're you're able to come over here and uh, put yourself in a vote. So, um, and and there's none right now. So everything seems to be kind of smooth sailing uh, in this range. Um, they are doing some upgrades, still continuing to do upgrades. So if you haven't, certainly go check this out now. Of course, I'm sponsored by Terraport.finance, so I'm biased. Remember, uh, I had people, I told you this before, I had people that told me that this was a, a secondary blockchain on top of a blockchain. No, that was true. Uh, that was just some uh, trying to uh, give you the the FUD, you know, and, and, and I think these guys like to FUD each other a lot. But, I, you know, look, that happens in every uh, sort of realm and in, in every sort of way. And I don't think there's anything to it. So uh, what you have is you have a bunch of people who want to see success. They want to see uh, you know, positivity out of the Luna Classic ecosystem. We don't always agree with each other. We don't always agree with what uh, one person or the other wants. You know, that's why we vote. Some of us vote yes, some of us vote no. But at the end of the day, almost everybody is looking for the betterment of the Luna Classic blockchain. Uh, not everybody wants to just keep it where it is because they're trying to milk you to get you to go over to Luna or, or and get away from Luna Classic. Not everybody's like that. So um, zombie chain is back to life. And we've got meme coins out here to prove it. Now it's just a matter of getting that volume. So uh, again, if you like this type of content, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you uh, hit, hit, you know, hit the bells to be notified when I when I do future content. And you'll learn a little bit more about this community today. We learned about Cookie Monster. Um, we learned a little bit about Terra Casino. We learned a little bit about Terraport. And uh, there you go. Every day we'll do a little something different here. And until then, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.